All right, so this will be a quick one, right? I just want to talk to you about Roblox tables, whether you're a beginner or, you know, just not a beginner, but, you know, still confused about tables because I get it. Tables may seem easy, right? It's just a value that holds other multiple values. But the thing about Roblox is that there's like different types of tables, kind of, right? So I'll just start us off and make a script inside server script service. And if you don't know how to make a table, which I assume you do, but just in case, you make a variable, right? So local name, name it whatever you want. I'll just name mine table name. Very creative, I know. And the way you make a table is you do curly brackets, like so. And then you put in a value and then you separate the values with a comma. So I can have a value of a string. Hello, world, right? And then I could do a comma and then I could put another value. I could say one, two, three. Then I could put another value and I could make it equal to false, right? So now this is a table that contains three values. The first one being hello world, second one being one, two, three, third one being false, right? And then if I were to print out this table, like so, and then I play right now, there we go. As you can see, it prints out one is hello world, two is one, two, three, and three is false. Now, okay, that, that's, that, that's the first thing, that's a very basic table. Now you may notice how it doesn't just print out like what we wrote here. So it doesn't just print out this, it prints out this. So one equals hello world, two equals one, two, three, and three equals false, right? What is this? This is the second type of table, which people call a dictionary, right? So when, when, you, when you just make, make tables like, like this, these are your values, right? And then by default, Roblox assigns them keys, right? So we have a value and we have a key. So by default, a key is just a number, right? So the key is one and it's equal to hello world. The, a key is two and it's equal to one, two, three. A key is three and it's equal to false. This is also why, let's say, let's say for table name, right? If I were to say table name, um, one, right? So I want to print out table name one. This will get the, this will, this will get the key. So this will like go to the table name and it's going to look for a key that, that is equal to one. And there is a key and then it's going to get its value and the value is hello world. So if I not even play, if I just run the game, there we go. So it prints out the first value of the table, right? And then if I, if I were to do two, then it's going to look for the key of two, which is going to be this. If I do three, it's going to look for the key of three, which is this. Wonderful. Okay. That's done. Now, what if we want to make our own keys, right? What if I, I don't want it, I don't want the, the key of this to be one of this two and of this three. What if I want to create my own keys and assign them my own values, right? That is where a dictionary comes in, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put an enter over here like so. So I'm going to make it kind of like this, right? You don't have to, you don't, you don't have to format it like this, but many people do, right? It just makes it a little easier. So we have a table and we have the first bracket. Then we have our first value, our second value and our third value. And then the ending bracket. And just like it did before, right? What, what you do to create a key is you do two square brackets, right? Like so you put in the value of the key, right? So let's say I want the key to be equal to, I don't know, uh, one with text, right? And then I make that equal to this. So we have a key here. Then we have something like two, like this. So, and then three, like so. So as you can see, what we're doing here is we're just making our own keys, right? So now, so now if I wanted to, let's say, print out the table name, print table name, it, this, this is, this is what people call a dictionary, by the way. So it's not long, long, no longer technically a table. It's technically now a dictionary, right? Now in Roblox, it doesn't matter what you call it. It's just what people call it. So it's just nice to know like the terminology. Yeah, there we go. So now instead it's, it's the same thing, but instead of Roblox automatically, like just by default, giving it numbers. It's one, three, two, for some reason. Did we mess up? No, we didn't. Okay. I guess I just randomly ordered them. So yeah, this is one, this is three, and this is two, but this time it's not one, two, three, as in like a number it's one, two, three, as in a string. And again, these don't have to be one, two, three, right? I could, I could have made this equal to like red, green, blue, or like string number Boolean. So I wish actually I'll, I'll do right now. So, so string is hello world and string in Roblox is like a piece of text, right? 
a number, which I assume you know what a number is, and a boolean or bool. And a bool is just true or false, right? Um, so yeah, if I run the game, that, that'll work. Yeah, so we have a bool, which is equal to false, number, which is equal to a number, and string, which is equal to a string. Beautiful. Now, if I were to print out a table name, and I wanted to print out the first value, right? And then I do, you know, table name one, like we did before. That's how I'm going to work. Because, because we changed, like, because we set our own keys, right? It can't find a one. So there is no one. So it gives out nil, which is nothing, right? Because there isn't like a, like, like a value in here that has the key of one. Instead, I have to use the actual key. So if I do bool, and there we go, it just automatically lets me finish it. If I look for the key name bool, it's going to be equal to false. Wonderful, right? There we go. So that works. Um, so that is a dictionary, right? Amazing. Now, the last, or not the last, there's one more uh, type of table, which is called a meta table, which I don't want to cover in this video because it's like a table that like goes into itself in a weird way, right? Future video maybe, but I'm too tired right now, bro. I woke up like 20 minutes ago. Um, yeah, so the, the last thing I'll cut, the last like table type I'll cover in this video is what people tend to call a library. And what a library is, it's a table that has functions. And so, yeah, you can add functions to tables. That's pretty cool, right? Now, before I show you that, I need to show you how you can actually add stuff into tables. If I do table dot table name, right? Let's, let's say we have a thing here, right? Um, where it's going to be like just one, two, three. It's going to be a table with just one value of one, two, three. Now, because we aren't setting it a key, the, the default key is going to be one, right? So, so we don't see this, but the key is one and it's going to be equal to one, two, three. What if we wanted to change this value, right? What we do is we say, okay, table name, and then, you know, in square brackets, we say one, and then we'll make it equal to uh, three to one, right? And then if I print out the table name, like so, so if I print out the table name, see, yeah, it is now equal to three to one, right? So we make it equal to one, two, three, then, you know, because we, we, we didn't set it a key, the key by default is one. So then we get the key and then we say, okay, now it's equal to three, two, one. And then we print out the table name. Wonderful. What if I set this to be two? What this will do, because, because we don't have a second value, because we don't have any value in the table that has the key of two, it's going to create a new one. So it's going to create a new value that has the key of two that has the value of three, two, one. So if I print this right now, yeah, as you can see, we have our initial value. And then, and then because it, it couldn't find the key of two, it created it, right? So there we go. So it creates this. So that's kind of how we can add stuff to tables. Now, how do we add a function? Well, very, very easy. We do table name. Um, yeah, table name. And then we could, you know, give it a number or we could just actually give it a real name. Uh, and the way we can do this is we can say table name dot and then we could give it a name. So I'll call it function name, something like that. And I'll make it equal to a function. Like so, there we go. So now we have a function. So now if I run the game, it prints it out. So we, now we have something with like, yeah, yeah. So we have a key that's called a function name that's equal to a function, right? Now, now this function isn't doing anything yet. If I make it, let's say print function, it works, right? It's not gonna run. The way you make it run is you say, you, you say that you get the name of the table and that's when you get the name of the function. There we go, right? So then this, this goes into the table. And then when we, when we do the, when we like call the function like this with, you know, two, two, two brackets, then it's going to run. So if I run the game right now, yeah, see it prints function works and yeah, yeah. So yeah, awesome. Everything works fine. So that's effectively the idea here, right? Now, again, you don't have to give it like an actual name. You could just literally say, like one table name one is func equals function. And then it's just going to set, make a function that has the key of one, right? So that works as well. Actually, no, it doesn't work. My bad. The, I, I, I'll have to correct myself. Um, attempt to call a nil value. That is interesting. Wait, what if I, what if I give them 
a one. What's going to happen? Nothing works. Okay, okay. So even if you already have a pre-existing one value, that's not going to work. So I, I guess you you have to give it an actual text. So like you, you you have to call it something by using dot. What if I do this actually? Give me a second. What if I do you know square brackets, and then I just make this a string. I feel like this should work. Uh yeah okay wonderful this works okay yeah so 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 yeah okay that that makes more sense so I guess you can't set the function equal to a number, but you can only make it, make it equal to a text and you can do that by either saying okay dots and then you you know you give it the text or instead of a dot you could do square brackets and that's when you can input whatever text you want so that's gonna work beautiful, um, and then uh you could also just give it a function over here I think, so you could do something like this right. So if I just do do the spacing that we had before, is this gonna work? Let's see if I if I run this right now. That's not gonna work. Okay, I see. Okay, yeah. So probably don't bother making it like I just did. Um, so yeah, just make a local table name, and then if you wanna add a function, you say name of the table, and then dot or square brackets, um, dot function name. You make it equal to a function, like so. Brackets. There we go. Oh yeah, right. There we go. So yeah, um, yeah. There we go. So now this is what people consider a library. So once again, let's quickly, quickly one, one more repeat. Right. This is a table. Right. Table. Oh wait, probably not inside. Yeah. Table like so. This is a table. It can hold like one, two, three. Hello. True. Right. That is a table. Now a dictionary, so local dictionary, dictionary name is similar with the exception that now we, 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 we change the keys, right? So instead of being one, two, three, we set the keys to be whatever, whatever we want. So we can say like, um, I don't know, apple is equal to red. And then we can have a, and then we separate it by comma, right? And we can say, orange is equal to orange and then we separate by a comma again and then we say um coconut is it's white you know what I, I was gonna say brown but it's white like let's let's be real right like you don't need the brown part of the coconut um yeah so this is a dictionary dictionary and then the last part is um what do you call it library right yeah library name and it's equal to just a function and then you can add functions or no, it's equal to a table, my bad. And then you can add a function inside of this table or library, I guess people call it by using a dot, you know, function name, and then, and then like, yeah, function name, you make it equal to a function like so, or you could do library name and then you could do square brackets. And that's when you can give it like a function fun I'll make a new function, function name too. There we go. So that's a library. So this is a table, this is a dictionary, and this is a library. And go check the comments because I have a link to my newsletter. Every every day I'll send you like a cool little uh, tip about Roblox Studio. And yeah, that's basically all you have to know about tables. So I'm just gonna delete the script right now. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching.